Nu auzi tu, dragă trăguță, Mi-ai cerut ciora cu panglicuță, Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, mă tale, Să-ți cumpere neica și sandale. Shalom, shalom to you, David. We're back this beautiful afternoon, Saturday, June 1st, Children's International Day. What a great day to talk about history and uh, the great people that saved other people, in this case, Jews in Bulgaria. And this is just, this is part two of a, a story that Rabbi Haim Asa from Burgas, Bulgaria, now in California, is going to tell us more about. Rabbi Asa. Yeah, I would like to share a few more details about Dimitri Peshev and then speak about Ambassador Elena Poptodorova, the, the Bulgarian ambassador to Washington, D.C. Um, an Italian wrote a book about Dimitri Peshev and the book was One Man Against Evil or One Man Against uh, whatever uh, the establishment Hitler, yeah, yeah Hitler and indeed the book was translated into many languages received many many uh, awards and this was the beginning of the uh, describing the glory or the the, the the might of one person Dimitri Peshev who was able to conquer the Nazi or the fascist establishment in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. And um, for that reason alone, I think that Dmitry Peshev deserves to have a plaza named after him in Washington, D.C., next to the Bulgarian embassy in Washington which I visited many times, a beautiful location uh, yeah. and uh, it's not too far from the Romanian embassy, it's a really, really beautiful uh, building. Right. Now, I'd like to return to uh, Ambassador Elena Poptodorova. Who called you a few days ago yeah. in Washington. Yeah, and she also sent me a very beautiful letter after I wrote my recommendations and references for Dimitri Peshev. Uh, she she said I, I was I was I broke into tears when I read what you wrote, and I want to thank you for this. And hopefully, the city council or whatever they call Washington, it, or Washington D.C. will they will rule in favor of this plaza. And perhaps they'll listen to your story that we're going to post uh, shortly on YouTube. Hopefully, uh, when Elena Poptudorva came to. When Elena Poptodorova came to our country approximately uh, 10 years ago, her first assignment was to have a symposium in my alma mater, at my alma mater, the Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Ohio, yes. Now, and then, and the president was Alfred Gottschalk, who also deserves a place in history for having helped many young Jews in places like Romania, and I was one of them. But that's uh, another story about Alfred Gottschalk yeah. and his friends, uh, Ira Silverman from AJC, that came to Romania and rescued many Romanian Jews in the 1970s and 80s. That's and, wonderful. I, yes. I didn't know this yes. about We'll, we'll talk about this story about yeah. these two extraordinary yeah. men that are no longer with us. Yeah. And uh, the symposium at Ibrahim College was organized by a friend of mine who at that time was um, PhD in something, whatever, and she wanted to recognize righteous uh, uh, Gentiles or countries that saved their, their Jews. That so, was uh, Her Excellency Ms. Todorova, yeah, the and, thesis. Yeah, and she was invited, the ambassador of Bulgaria was invited. This was her first public appearance, basically. And uh, at that time, uh, she and I became very, very uh, fond of each other, very close, close. to each other. And indeed, uh, she was overwhelmed 
by the reaction that we received, that she and I received in uh, Cincinnati during the symposium, when I told them the story of Bulgaria and how Bulgaria saved its Jews. And of course, she then spoke about uh, that Bulgaria, basically the constitution of Bulgaria is a copy, copycat of the American Constitution. Especially with regards to civil rights exactly, and uh, exactly. And individual she rights. emphasized the fact that Bulgaria does have a constitution which is very advanced, very forward, very thinking. forward thinking, and this was written, of course, um, 100, 130 years ago, right. or something like that. Uh, following the U.S. Constitution, which was written in 260 years ago. Now, Papu Dorova, Papu, Miss, uh, Miss Papu Dorova, yeah, the ambassador, Elena, invited me to Washington, D.C., uh, and I mentioned this briefly, um, probably a few, few interviews ago for the recognition of eight European nations that joined NATO. So um, at that time, it was uh, uh, President Bush, he decided to have a big reception in Washington DC for all the, not only ambassadors, uh, uh, representatives, but also for distinguished citizens of the respective countries. That and helped the Jews? No, nothing to do with the Jews. Uh, just distinguished uh, citizens? Yeah, the NATO. Uh -huh. the distinguished citizens of the countries uh, from from uh, Estonia to, to Bulgaria and from, uh, I think, Romania also enrolled in the NATO at that time, right. uh, to, to Poland and all that. Anyway, uh, I was invited and uh, I had the pleasure of living in the house of the uh, ambassador of Pop Dorova. In Washington. Yeah, because I didn't have uh, the resources to pay a hotel and all that and she knew that. I paid my own flight and lo and behold, I'm sitting at the Rose Garden uh, in the division between the actual ambassadors right. and, 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 and generals of, of the countries of NATO right. and the public or the... The VIP guests. The VIP guests. And um, it was an incredible uh, day. So President when, Bush came, I suppose. Yes. When we realized that indeed those countries, which for the most part were communist countries, right before the 89, 90 uh, liberation change of or, or change of regime, but those countries were really the strength of Europe when it comes to fight any foreign uh, uh, forces. And of course, we know that there are differences in Europe between country A and country B, but for the most part, all of Europe is united and God willing, there will never be a repetition of the First World War or the Second World War or all the other wars that preceded uh, uh, that period. So, uh, here I was sitting and I was saying to myself, gee, I'm just a rabbi from Fullerton, California, and I'm being invited to that very important uh, uh, reception, etc., reception, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, I'll repeat it again, uh, King Simeon uh, was there. Uh, the son was, of, uh, of King oh, Boris, Boris the III, III, which ruled during the Second yeah. World War and saved the Jews of Bulgaria. Exactly. Right. And he saw me uh, during the actual reception after... The, the ceremony was outside in Rose Garden, but the reception was inside. Right. And he was surrounded by 50 people uh, talking to him and, you know, congratulating right. him, whatever it is. And I never mix with the crowd. I always stand like 100 feet away from any any 
everybody is looking to shake hands with so and so, and I'm I'm not that kind of a guy. I, I stood on the side, and uh, King Simeon is taller than everybody else right. in the crowd, and he saw me from a distance, and he leaves all those people that were surrounding him to shake his hand or get his autograph, whatever it is, and he walks over to me and gives me a big hug and says, I'm so glad that you're here today, etc., etc., etc. So, um, indeed, uh, without exaggerating, uh, the, the Bulgarians are people that are warm, they are kind, they are gentle, uh, unless you get on their bad side, of course, and uh, they remember history. And for me, this is very important. Well, this is living history, folks, uh, and uh, I can say something about the Bulgarian people. Uh, not, not that I, uh, I don't like uh, the country I was born in. I have great love, and I feel very fortunate to have been born in Romania as a Jew. But I am married to a Bulgarian, hence our connection. And like they say in Bulgarian, I learned a little Bulgarian. I had to, my wife. You speak perfect. Well, I don't know about perfect, thank you. But po Bulgarski say, uh, which is a very, to me, it's a typical uh, Bulgarian characteristic. I said in Bulgarian that you are a very modest uh, human being. And Thank I can you. attest to that because my wife and her family, my w lovely wife uh, is Bogdana Romanska, and she's the daughter of a famous uh, tennis uh, player, uh, father and mother, the father having been Vladimir Romanski, famous tennis coach of the Bulgarian Tennis Federation and her mother also a tennis champion, Elena, and my wife Bogdana Romanska, a lovely, lovely lady, very beautiful, of course, beautiful Bulgarian girls, lady. Uh, I have to say that I love Bulgaria and everything you said about the Bulgarian people, I have to attest that they are extremely kind and soft and of course if you get on the wrong side like anybody else, they're not going to be happy. But with that said, uh, we wish all the best. Nogu se rad vam de govoris s vas, Rabbi uh, same. Asa. The same. I feel very lucky and we wish good the luck same. with the project to recognize uh, Dimitar Peshev, uh, Gospoja Todorova. Let's tune in. Let's tune in and we want everybody to come together, the survivors of the Thracian and Macedonian families that uh, perished in the horrible situation that happened. We should all come together and clarify for the next generation to know the truth, who indeed was a hero, whether a Gentile or not, they should be recognized, and who was a bad person, they deserve to rot in hell. Exactly. So with that said, I want to thank Rabbi Haim Thank Asa, you, David. And Shalom it's to everybody. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Good job. Now, we can get a little dinner or something. Shai mai vrea, shai mai vrea, drăguță ană, Ca să te îmbrac mă-i cună hramă. Să-ți cumpăr, să-ți cumpăr cercei mă-i ană, Dar eu n-am de unde mă-i coadară. Auzi, dragă fata, nechi dragă, Aseară coniuă ta viceană. Și acum nu sparale, să-ți cumpăr sandale, Buzunarele sunt goale, da Mai apoi trecuță, încă o băncuță Și băui în colitru